Hello, in this video I want to talk more about vectors and first of all we learned that we can write a vector this way or we can write it this way but we also, and this is new, we can combine both notations and say 3, 2, 4 and 5 so, so we can combine that and we can even uh, write it shorter, we can, if you're using a range, we can write that, but we can use a tr uh, write it shorter, we can tra just write that. And we can even assign it to a variable axis. Okay, and then I want to show you how to add uh, vectors of different lengths. Let's say we have a vector that is goes from 1 to 3 so it has three elements and I have a vector b that goes from 1 to 6 and I want to add both vectors then 1 plus 1 is, is uh, the computer does 1 plus 1 2 plus 2 3 plus 3 and here 4 plus and here at this point it just repeats this vector and uh, so it goes 4 plus 1, uh, 5 plus 2, 6 plus 3. This, uh, so I can uh, add both, but this only works when the second or one is a multi multiple of the other vector. It's the length of vector 1 multiplied by 2 gives the length of vector 2. So this is why it works. If, so, if this vector had uh, four entries, it wouldn't work. Let's say a 1 to 4 I print a, I print b now b is not a multiple of a a plus b doesn't work and here is uh, the reason why why it doesn't work. Okay um, those are all number vectors, they are also logical vectors and uh, the logical values are true and false those two values um, now I want to create a logical vector, logic and here comes an expression a logical expression I say where a is greater than 3. A is th that vector and A is greater than 3 for the first element and the second. So this is true, true, false, false. And the result is saved in logic, so I print logic, false, 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 true. Uh, okay, I said A greater than 3, so this is only true for the 4 the last entry. Okay. Um, other um, relational operators are s uh, less than, less than, or greater than or equal to, or less than and equal to, and equal. Equal is with two equal signs. It's written by uh, with two equal signs. And uh, you can also write false and false. This is false. This is the logical operator and. But true and true is true. True and false is false. The logical OR is written by this sign and the negation is written by this. So let's say true and false. This expression is false but it's negated so it's true. So and this vector, this is a logical vector. It contains also only the logical values false and or true. 
besides numeric and logical vectors, there are also character vectors. The character vector vector looks like this. Hello. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello, world. Print it, and this is a character vector. And now I want to show you index vectors. Let's see what's an A. Okay. Have the vector B. And um, I want to assign the vector A to it, but only the positions where A is greater than 3. Let's see what's in B. Okay, only the 4, because only Z is greater than 3. This is one index vector, this is the index. Can also give positions like B, A, and now here it gives the positions 2 to 3. B has now 2 and 3. And I can give uh, names. I have a vector A, and uh, to each uh, element I give can give a name. This is a name vector. So names of A. Now give the names Harry, Ron, Tom, Jerry. And then the, the result. I want to save it in the variable result. Now again I give here an index. I have given the elements names. So here I can give the name, let's say Ron I want to have and Tom and I print the result. And this doesn't work. Why? Because Tom, Ron is okay, it's a 2, but Tom, I, I wrote it with a, a small t, this, uh, the language is case sensitive, so it couldn't find this name and it gives NA which means not available. So I change the result and write it correctly, run Tom like this. Now I print the result and run is 2, Tom is 3. Okay, that's it for now and I'm gonna make another video and in this one I will talk about objects in R.